Hey everyone and welcome. Today we're diving into a topic we all face temptation. It's that nagging feeling, that whisper urging us to do what we know we shouldn't. But here's the thing, you're not alone in this struggle. The Bible tells us that temptation is a part of life and we all face it, but the good news is we don't have to face it alone. God offers us guidance and strength to overcome these challenges. So let's explore why temptation can be so hard to resist and how we can find victory in Christ. Why is it so difficult to resist temptation? The answer is simple. Temptation is designed to be appealing. Think about it. Satan, our adversary, doesn't tempt us with things we find repulsive or unpleasant. He doesn't offer us a plate of dirt and call it a feast. Instead, he dangles something desirable in front of us, something that appeals to our desires. He knows our weaknesses, our vulnerabilities, and he exploits them masterfully. He's like a cunning salesman packaging sin in a way that makes it look irresistible. The Bible warns us about Satan's tactics. In 2 Corinthians 11:14, it says, and no wonder for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. Satan doesn't usually appear to us with horns and a pitchfork. Instead, he disguises himself as something good, something enticing. He whispers lies that sound like truth, promises that seem too good to be true. He appeals to our pride, our greed, our lust for power, or our desire for comfort. He makes sin look harmless, even pleasurable, at least for a little while. But the truth is, sin always leads to destruction. We see a clear example of this in the Garden of Eden. Satan, in the form of a serpent, tempted Eve with the forbidden fruit. He made it seem desirable, promising her knowledge and wisdom. He twisted God's words, making it seem like God was holding something back from her. Eve, deceived by Satan's lies, gave in to the temptation and Adam followed suit. The consequences were devastating, leading to sin and death entering the world. This story serves as a powerful reminder that Satan's temptations are real and they can have devastating consequences. Throughout the Bible, God repeatedly warns us about Satan's deceptive nature. He knows that Satan is a master of disguise, a cunning liar who seeks to lead us astray. In John chapter 8, verse 44, Jesus says of Satan, he was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. This verse paints a stark picture of Satan's character. He is the embodiment of falsehood, the architect of deception. His words are laced with poison designed to lure us into sin and destruction. He twists the truth, manipulates our desires, and whispers doubts into our hearts. God, in his infinite love and wisdom, wants to protect us from Satan's snares. That's why he gives us clear warnings and equips us with the tools we need to resist temptation. One of the ways Satan ensnares us is by making sin appear harmless, even attractive. He knows that if he can make sin look appealing, we'll be more likely to rationalize it, to justify our actions. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 25 warns us, He chose to be mistreated along with the people of God rather than to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin. This verse highlights the temporary nature of sin's allure. Satan offers us fleeting pleasures, momentary gratifications that ultimately leave us empty and longing for more. He wants us to believe that sin will bring us happiness, fulfillment, or satisfaction. But the truth is, sin always leads to pain, brokenness, and separation from God. It's a trap, a snare that promises freedom but delivers only bondage. It's essential to remember that true joy and lasting satisfaction are found only in a relationship with God. So how do we resist Satan's deceptive schemes? How do we stand firm against his temptations and live a life that honors God? The Apostle Peter gives us some practical advice in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. First and foremost, we need to be aware of Satan's tactics. We need to recognize his voice, his lies, and his attempts to lead us astray. We need to be vigilant, on guard against his subtle deceptions and outright attacks. Secondly, we need to be sober-minded. This means being clear-headed, not letting our emotions or desires cloud our judgment. When we're tired, stressed, or emotionally vulnerable, we're more susceptible to temptation. It's crucial to stay grounded in God's word, to fill our minds with truth so that we can discern right from wrong. Now let's talk about Satan's ultimate goal to destroy. He's not content with just tempting us into sin. He wants to wreak havoc in our lives and relationships. He targets our families, our friendships, and our communities, sowing discord and division wherever he can. 
He knows that strong relationships are a source of strength, support, and encouragement, and he wants to tear them apart. He whispers lies and suspicions, stirring up conflict and resentment. He tempts us to be selfish, impatient, and unforgiving, eroding the foundation of love and trust. He wants us to isolate ourselves, to believe that we're better off alone, but that's a lie. God created us for connection, for community, and for love. He wants us to experience the joy and fulfillment that come from healthy, loving relationships. So, we need to be on guard against Satan's attempts to destroy the precious relationships in our lives. The Bible doesn't shy away from describing Satan's true nature. It calls him the evil one, the tempter, and the father of lies. It also reveals his perverse and foul character, a stark contrast to the holiness and purity of God. He delights in chaos, destruction, and suffering. He twists what is good and pure, seeking to corrupt and defile everything he touches. His influence can be seen in the darkest corners of our world, in the violence, hatred, and depravity that plague humanity. But we must remember that Satan is a defeated foe. Jesus, through his death and resurrection, has already triumphed over sin and death, and he has given us authority over all the power of the enemy. We don't need to be afraid of Satan, but we do need to be aware of his tactics and stand firm in our faith. We need to put on the armor of God, as described in Ephesians 6, so we can stand against the devil's schemes. So, how do we protect ourselves from Satan's attacks and resist his temptations? The Bible gives us two key strategies, vigilance and rebuke. We've already talked about the importance of being vigilant, being aware of Satan's tactics and on guard against his deceptions. But we also need to be proactive in resisting him. When temptation comes knocking, we need to rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus. We need to stand firm in our faith, declare God's truth over our lives, and refuse to give in to his lies. We can't fight this battle on our own. We need God's strength, his guidance, and his protection. That's why it's so important to stay connected to him through prayer, Bible study, and fellowship with other believers. When we draw near to God, he promises to draw near to us. Prayer is our lifeline to God. It's how we communicate with him, share our hearts, and ask for his help. When we pray, we acknowledge our dependence on him and invite him to fight our battles for us. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18, Paul urges us to pray at all times in the Spirit with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints. Notice that we are called to pray at all times, not just when it's convenient or when we feel like it. Prayer should be our constant companion, our go-to weapon in the face of temptation. When those tempting thoughts come, don't try to fight them on your own. Immediately turn to God in prayer, asking for His strength to resist and His wisdom to make wise choices. Remember, God is faithful and He will never leave us nor forsake us. The Christian life is often described as a spiritual battle. We're engaged in a constant struggle against the forces of darkness, against the schemes of the devil. But here's the good news. We're not fighting a losing battle. We have the victory in Christ. He has already overcome the world and given us authority over all the power of the enemy. However, we still have a responsibility to fight. We need to be proactive in resisting temptation, in putting on the armor of God, and in standing firm in our faith. This is a daily battle, and it requires daily commitment. Just like an athlete trains for a competition, we need to train for spiritual warfare. We need to spend time in God's Word, equipping ourselves with the truth. The Bible tells us in James chapter 4, verse 7, Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Notice the order of these commands. We first submit to God, acknowledging His authority and Lordship in our lives. Then we resist the devil, standing firm in the power and authority of Christ. And when we do that, the promise is clear. He will flee from you. Satan can't stand up to the power of God. When we resist him in Jesus' name, he has no choice but to flee. So let's stand firm in the victory that is already ours in Christ. Let's put on the full armor of God every day and be ready to resist the devil's schemes. And let's never forget that we have a faithful and powerful God who is always with us, ready to help us overcome any temptation. So what have we learned today about resisting temptation? First, we've seen that temptation is a real struggle, one that we all face. Satan, our adversary, is cunning and deceptive, and he knows how to exploit our weaknesses. But we've also learned that we don't have to face temptation alone. God, in his infinite love and mercy, has given us everything we need to stand firm against the devil's schemes. He's given us his word, his spirit, and the power of prayer. 
He's given us the armor of God to protect us and the authority to rebuke Satan in Jesus' name. The key to overcoming temptation is to stay connected to God, to draw our strength and guidance from Him. Friends, the Christian life is not a walk in the park. It's a battle, a daily struggle against the forces of darkness. But it's a battle we can win, not in our own strength, but in the power of Jesus Christ. So let's put on the full armor of God every day, and let's stand firm in our faith, knowing that greater is He who is in us than he who is in the world. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, come on over and join our family by subscribing to our channel. May God bless you and all your endeavors. Thank you for watching.